be rolling up here in a couple of minutes to where I'm trying to get to, hopefully, if Google Maps is any good, so I don't know, bear with me. What's going on, y'all? Welcome back to a high mountain high adventure video. Winter has officially set in here, especially here in the mountains of South Carolina. The trees are naked and it is pretty chilly. What is it, 32? Ooh! 32, South Carolina 32, that's that's cold for South Carolina. Oh, wait, I see water. All right, we found water, that's good. But the rivers up here in South Carolina, uh, starting like November 1st through like April 30th, yeah, there are like big sections of river that shut off to delayed harvesting. So they'll, they'll plant like brook trout, rainbow trout, brown trout, uh, but you can catch them, you can't keep them. And I don't want this section because I can catch them, but I can't keep them as stated uh, just a brief second ago. And that just kind of defeats the purpose of a catch and cook. Like, I'm all for catching fish, but I would like to eat something too. Oh, this is, ah, hmm. This is definitely a little sketchy. Is this the campsite? If this is the campsite, there's nobody here, which is awesome. Um, yeah, there's nobody here, which is a little sketchy. I'm not gonna lie. Bear with me, I'm unscrewing you. From Mike Mount. Oh, there we go. All right, let's go take a look. Ugh. Okay, first off, it's cold. Oh, but the mountain air, dude. Oh, I just love this. Here's the here's the campsite. This is it. This is it. What we've been waiting for. Who's that? Like Michael McDonald or whatever? That's like my mom's music. Here's the fire pit. Hmm, leaves a little to be desired there. But yeah, it is first off cold. Dude, I think the river's right over here. That would be awesome instead of having to drive. I thought we'd have to drive to the river. Let's go see what we got. But you can see, it's just, it's just like basically a little camping, like basically just pull off spots is what it is. <gasps> I see water, y'all. I see water. Let's go. Let's go. Now I want to see some trout. Oh, mama. First glance is that this is absolutely gorgeous. Man, I got like the high adventure tinglies going on. This is so cool. Uncharted water, beautiful mountain. This reminds me of like Idaho stuff right here, man. Are you kidding me? It's probably not going to get much warmer than it is right now up here. So we have to make sure we dressed warm. It's currently like 37 degrees. Got the big fuzzy socks out. I don't think I've put these on since Idaho. So it's been close to three years. That's crazy. It's kind of nice to have that extra thermal layer here. So check it out. I actually remembered my net, which is usually 50-50 any given video. We've got our little river fishing rod slash crappy fishing rod when I'm on the lake. And we are ready to start exploring. You know, I don't see anything here right now, like right off the bat, but I feel like it'd be worth drifting something down this area just to double check. Put the lid on right there. There you go. That's what we got just under a little cork. Let's throw this out. See if anybody's down there. I've learned over years of trout fishing in rivers, just because you can't see the trout doesn't mean they're down there. No, they're not down there. Nothing right here. That's okay. Oh man, y'all, look at this. That big old rock cliff here. Deep cut, trying to just go nice and easy. Guys, we just tied on this little bumblebee spinner. Haven't had anything on the salmon eggs. And honestly, the spot just looks too good not to have anything in it. So we're gonna throw this guy a little bit. This is also very helpful in determining if you got fish in the area. Number one, it's a little colder. So you can always have the opportunity of uh, finding a little bit more active fish. And the trout seem to get more active the more cold it is, or the colder it gets, I should say. And then, uh, 
This is also good because even if you have like trout in the area, the curious ones will follow it up. So then you can kind of tell like, hey, there are fish in the area or not when you're tossing it. So kind of a scout lure. Oh, there's a swipe. Something just hit it. Something just swiped at it. Maybe they're just more active. There's one right there. Right there. Ha! Switched to the little spin. Got our first fish. Not a bad little fish either. What is that? Is that a brown? Dudes, I think that's a brown trout. Hey, hit that little bumblebee rooster tail. That's probably about 12 inches. We might keep that one. You can keep six. Six fish a day, and I just don't know how the day's going to go. Fish in new waters. And I feel like maybe we should have at least something on the stringer. There we go. All right. Let's get him processed really quickly, a.k.a. beat him on the head with a stick and put him on a stringer. I need me a little stick key. Oh, that might work right there. Perfect, I think. I just need something to thread this guy on. There you go. Look at that! Hey! Upper pool paid off! Oh, that water is ice cold. Shoof! Look at that fish. Beautiful, beautiful brown trout. Let's see if we can go for the uh, Grand Slam. Got brown, rainbows, and brooks. It'd be fun to get like one of each. All right. Guys, first fish in the new waters for us. Kind of gets the skunk out of the boat or out of the bag, if you will. Oh, there's one right there. Followed it up. Followed it up. What do we got here? Another fish. This looks like a rainbow. Dude, if that's a, that's a nice rainbow trout. That's a really nice rainbow trout. Look at that. Oh, <laughs> right on land. Perfect. Look at that. That's bigger than the brown. That is way cool. How about that? We've had like four casts. Oh, that's a nice chunky rainbow trout. Like four casts with this little rooster tail and two fish when the eggs were getting nothing. Look at this fish right here. I mean, that's a beautiful trout. That is gonna taste delicious. That might be, that's probably 13 and a half inches would be my guess. First pool produced a couple fish. We won't go hungry today. Let's go ahead and keep moving down. Let's go explore down river. This is kind of an area like, I see some other footprints and stuff. So I'm sure people fish this pretty close to where we just parked. So let's go see if we can find some kind of more remote areas. Hopefully the stuff like that will hold maybe a little bit bigger fish, more fish. You know, because stuff like this is probably going to get hit pretty regularly. Oh, no. Ooh, oh, oh, oh my. Look at this. Man alive. That's just pretty to look at. All right. It's going to be pretty if we pull a fish out. You know, every time I come out, the goal, obviously, is to catch fish, right? But this is one of those instances where just the beauty of the scenery that I'm fishing and the water, it's just so pretty that I'm like, even if I'm not catching anything, it's just a pleasure to be out here. I don't often say that. Usually it's a pleasure to be out here as long as I'm catching something. But this beautiful little ravine, this crystal clear water, and I think I can say that more right now because I've actually caught a couple of fish. But this is just a pleasure to be in. Wow. Wow. Check this out. That's pretty cool. Woo. I've been walking pretty far. Imagine in the springtime when that water's raging over this. What this has to look like. That'd be beautiful. Seeing some real pretty scenery. Just not a lot of fish. I've been alternating between the little uh, salmon rig and the uh, spinner. Not much success, unfortunately. There's one, huh? Right down there in the froth and the foam on the egg. Ah! Little trout, little trout. Not very big. That is officially the first fish on the salmon egg. 
I think we're gonna keep that one. We get six a day here in South Carolina. That one's probably about 11 inches, honestly, but been kind of slow. There's one, another one, huh. Right at the base of that waterfall, man. Not very big. They're definitely stacked up down there. Another little catfish food sized one. That's another fish right there. Hey, there's a bigger one. Yeah, that's a nicer trout right there. Dude, I think that, what is that? Another bow? That might be a brown trout. It's not a brookie, is it? No, that's a brown. Look at that. It's a nice brown trout. We just stayed the course right at the bottom of that, uh, right at the bottom of that falls. Oh, he just popped up. Whew. Got it. Right at the base of that falls. We took the, uh, we took the little cork off. We just got a small sinker and we're letting it just drift around down there. We popped a couple of nice fish right at the base of this. I tell you, it doesn't get much better than this. Catching fish below a waterfall, in a gorgeous river. This is fun, man. Loving this. All right, got them popped. Look at that. Man, we got it going on here. This is awesome. A little egg. We're just staying nice and patient, letting it just drift around down there. And they're stacked up, man. There you go fresh egg on. We just came around the corner from that waterfall. Caught a couple other small brownies. Look at this nice deep cut we have in here though. I want to get a little egg down to the depths there. See if anything's lurking on the bottom. There's a bite right there. Oh, look at this. Look at this infant. Dudes, come on now. Another brown trout. That's crazy, man. Like brown trout country. That's probably like the seventh or eighth uber juvenile brown I've caught. Look at that. That's more sturgeon food. I'll lift the lid off of this. Come on, there's gotta be just a little bit bigger fish hanging out in those depths. Lurking, man, lurking. I think, yeah, we're getting bit. Shoot. There he is. There's a little bit bigger fish. Hey, there we go. I mean, it's not its not by a lot. It's not a monster of the deep. But compared to those six inches, when I see a 12 inch brown coming out, I'm not I'm disappointed about that. <laughs> there you go. Look at that fish. That's gorgeous, man. That's gorgeous. I think we eat that one right there. <sighs> Look at that. Yeah. <laughs> We were just waiting for it. Yeah, we're gonna eat that one because she's gut hooked. She's gut hooked, so we'll definitely throw that one on the stringer. Nice. All right, check that out. So we have actually only five. I thought I kept six, but apparently we've only got five on the stringer, but that's fine. That's plenty for us and what we're doing out here. I always like to bring a few trout home because any fish for that matter, because I always have a few neighbors that like some fish and I usually distribute them out to. I think though, man, first off, I think that is a gorgeous view, but I think we're gonna go ahead, start making our way back. Probably gonna take us a good 30 minutes to walk back. We've come down pretty far, but let's go ahead and go get our camp set up before we lose light. Get a nice fire going. I can already feel a nice little nip in the air as that sun's starting to go down head behind those naked trees. So, oh, I think we've earned a nice fresh trout dinner. And I think I brought a steak too, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, steak, mistaken. See what, see what I did there? Oh, anyway, it's been too long without food. Let's, let's get back. Oh, fresh catch. Check it out. We got firewood. I got my little Brio fire pit. And I'm glad I brought it because there aren't really any pits here. I mean, not to say you can't just burn out here, but kind of nice to have a little fire pit you know i just realized the one thing i did forget shucks i forgot a seat what are you doing micah i am glad i brought this guy though oh what 
Yeah, an onion. Hey, you never know what you're gonna find in the high adventure truck. Random onion. But I'm glad I brought this guy because there are no tables. Gotta have somewhere to prep my food, yo. Should I look sexy from this angle? Ah, yes. Smelling like fish. Mm. Salmon eggs. A lot of people use this campsite this time of year for black bear season, for hunting. Black bear, I should say. So, we need to keep that in mind with our food, which is just another reason why we don't go anywhere without the piddly, just in case things get squiggly. There you go. Hey, onion, go in there. Oh, I'm like the Michael Jordan of my time. I swear I always bring too much wood. Like, I don't know, I guess, I guess it's better to have more than less, right? Especially tonight it's supposed to get down to like, it's like 28 tonight or something like that. But, I mean, by that point, we're gonna go get warm in the tent. Ugh. Oh, look, more wood. <laughs> Michael, what are you doing? It's not like I'm gonna be out here for a week. Lord have mercy. You know, I've only ever used this truck bed tent like one other time. I use the other one all the time, the first one I ever got. But then we cut holes in it to modify it for our John boat, which we no longer have. And so I ended up getting rid of it, kind of retiring it. Oh, that's not good. We got a broken pole. Hmm. Stay together, baby. I wonder if I can figure this thing out. Lord of mercy. Oh, bloody thing's backwards. All right. Well. Our rod is staying together, so I guess that's good. That split one. All right. Hello. You know, just sling that in there. A little heater. That's what's gonna get us through the night. I'll take care of that later. Oh, come on. The light. There we go. Oh, that failed. Utterly, completely. You know, I was a little unsure at, you know, what we were gonna catch today, so kept a couple smaller trout than I normally would like to. Tomorrow, we won't do that. Smallest fish we'll keep will be something like that size right there, for sure. You don't wanna keep that. That's been a nice little string. We'll set them right there and grab them tomorrow before we head out. Oh man, that water is cold. Kept that trout fresh all afternoon though. One good thing, there you go. Just like that. That's what we're gonna do with these, with this batch anyway. Throwing all the heads into the river. Want as few guts around camp as possible since we're in black bear country. Last thing I want showing up in the middle of the night, sniffing around the tent, but if they do, so be it. Kind of in their territory now. There we go. Just got some Kinder's steak blend. Got it at Costco like way back in the day. I love Costco. Season the outside of the meat. Inside, outside, upside down. All right, got our stick of butter here on our griddle surface. I'm just gonna butter up a nice area. It's important to try to get this as flat as you can. That way, stuff ain't rolling off. Take our steak. There you go. I'm gonna do the same thing over here with the fish, I think. Go! Oh. Woohoo! Feel like a hibachi chef or 
Sabiki Chef or whatever they call those guys. Little fish right there. Last trout. Perfect. Look at that. Trout cooking on the griddle. Let's get some vegetables cut up next. All right. Got a little oil on this side. I'm gonna throw our onions down here. And the oil. Whew. Stay away from the fire. Put a little oil back over top of them again. There we go. Whew. Bam, back there. Now, come over here. Grab us some maple chipotle grill sauce. Actually, that would have probably gone really good on the trout. Sitting here looking at that. Oh well. Next time, maybe tomorrow. I'm gonna put that right over the onion. There. There we go. There we go. Last thing going on the griddle. Get a little fire roasted tomato going. Oh, not on the edge though. Way over there first. There we go. <laughs> Look at that. Out here in the middle of the forest. Got the griddle going. Got camp set up. Once again, by here by herself. Apparently a lot of people don't like to come out when it's buck naked cold outside. Which is great for us because we get all this craziness to ourselves, which is kind of cool. Also kind of a little spooky, I'm not gonna lie to you. Oh. <laughs> Sit on the bit. Fishing rod, what are you doing? You trying to poke me, fool? How'd you even slide that way? Odd. There you go! <laughs> Check this out. Now, one thing I have to say, we got fish, steak, onions, tomatoes. The um, main all-purpose seasoning kind of turned my trout a little bit of like a yellowish tint. And I'll be honest with you, it's not the most appetizing looking. <laughs> uh, but got our steak buried down in there. You guys can see it. Uh, I might eat this whole thing tonight. <sighs> Heavenly Father, we thank you for this day. Lord, thank you for your mountains. Lord, thank you for your creation. Thank you that we come out here and we get to enjoy it, Lord God, every one of us. I just pray that you would keep my wife and kids in safety, Lord God, back at home. Bring us back together and safely tomorrow, Lord. Just pray you keep me in safety as I'm out here wandering the mountains and just pray you'd help me to make wise decisions while I'm here, Lord. Just thank you for this food you provided me with and may you bless it to my body now. Through Jesus I pray, amen. Oh, all right. You know what? We're going to have to eat one of these trout to kind of get down to the steak. Dude, I don't know if I left that trout on long enough, honestly. That trout's undercooked. we got to put them back on. Hold it! Actually, that's perfect. That means we can eat our steak. Come here, you little dirty trout. That's the last thing I need is get sick from whatever you get. Ah. This trout might be cooked. Yeah, I think this other trout's cooked. That trout is not. There you go. Mmm. That seasoning, while it's not uh, very appetizing to look at, that main all-purpose seasoning, that's pretty good. Get it with a little chipotle onion here. That's top quality stuff right there. You know what we're about to do. Oh, you know it. You know it. Ah. Oh, we'll eat right there. Ah. <laughs> Whole skeleton comes right out. We'll just throw that right in the fire. Ah, he hits the backboard. Bank's open. Time to see how we cook the steak. I'm worried I overcooked it. Oh, there's some pink in there. Oh yeah, oh yeah. I don't know if you guys can see that. But that's not shabby. Mm. That steak's like the backbone of this meal right here. Mm. You get good protein with the trout, but that steak just comes in. The trout kind of hits you with like the left hook. But then the steak comes in with the uppercut, just boom, just finishes you off. Guys, it's so chilly out here that we kind of have to eat fast because my food is cooling down so quickly. 
And I don't want to have to keep throwing it on the fire. I got no microwave. I think it's time with our Charleston shoe. Go ahead and hop in the tent. Oh, oh geez. Oh, there we go. Oh, okay. Hey, look at that. Huh? All right. <sighs> Come on, baby. All right, it's catching. So now we're going to just turn this knob up here to low. Oh, look at that. <laughs> oh, yes. That's what I like. That's what I like. So I'm going to try to leave it on low. If we can get it to heat the tent adequately on low, we'll get like five hours out of each canister. Now, as you can see down here, we've got four more canisters. I tried to hang out by the fire as much as I could. It's like seven o'clock though. And I need to save wood for tomorrow as well. But I tried to hang out as, around the fire as much as I could because, you know, I want the uh, I want the propane to last as long as possible because we got to get through the night. You know, we got to make it to like seven in the morning. Then then we're good. There you go. You see the heater we're really starting to go to work. And as long as that keeps going, we're gonna have an awesome night. So just keep going, little buddy heater. I'll have a link in the description below if you guys want one of those. That is a game changer. If you're trying to camp at night out here in the winter time, well, pretty much anywhere. That's delicious. I forgot how good Charleston shoes were. Well, I think we gotta keep exploring that river tomorrow. I noticed that there's a trail that runs along the river, and it's not really a trail. It's a little more than an animal path, really. It, it It's not a lot, for sure. It's not really well broken in, so I kind of think that uh, it probably discourages a lot of people from going very far down river. So I feel like the further we go down, the fishing might just keep getting better and better. I know it certainly was there towards the end, those last couple pools we hit. So... <sighs> I'm going to fall asleep right here. I better shut the camera off. I'll see you guys bright and early. <sighs> ah, right in the eyeballs. This is by far the hardest part of the trip right here. Getting out of bed in the winter time. Oh, I can just feel the cold. I can just feel it out there. Oh. Never. We're not fishing today. Stay in here till it hits 50. Oh, oh, I can't do that. Oh, good morning. Well, still got the heater going. I had to move the heater over by the door, uh, as you guys can see. And then I cracked the tent a little bit so then oxygen could be swirling around the heater to keep the heater on. Because it kept the sensor kept like reading like low oxygen, so set it over there so it'd keep running all night. So that was a fun thing to do at about eh, midnight last night, rearrange everything, but it ran, so we're good. Uh, ooh, top of the morning. Oh yes, thin layer of frost on everything. Dag nabbit, it is cold. It is cold. But there are two things we can do. We can sit here and we can complain about it or we can get up and just deal with it. So let's sit and complain. <laughs> Back to bed. <laughs> no, no, Mike could be a man. Let's go. Let's go. Oh. <sighs> It's so incredibly difficult right now to get this fire going. Everything's just has a layer of frost on it. I probably should have brought like some kindling or something in and put it in my truck. It's all dry. It's all good dry wood. Just warming it up. Getting that layer of frost off of it. There we go. Ah. Fresh bacon. 
get it griddled up. fresh coffee as well. Set that right about there. Perfect. Ah, got a mixture of eggs, onions, and peppers. A little bit of milk in there. A little bit of a scrambled eggs. There we go. Move that around. Bacon's all finished up. In fact, you know what? I want to try a piece of this right here. Woo! Oh, a little crispy, a little crispy. A uh, hot. Oh man, yeah. Can't beat that on a cold winter morning. Right over the fire. I'm gonna take this. I'm gonna throw that around so that gets all firmed up. Do a few pieces of bacon in there. Kind of add salt to the eggs from the bacon fat. There you go. Ha! Oh look, coffee's brewing. Hooray! Oh, a little steamy there. Sorry about that. Where? Grab our two strips of bacon here. Throw it off on the side. Woo! Grab club because we ain't gonna grab that barehanded ah there you go all we're missing is the coffee that'll be ready in just a minute that is a beautiful mountain breakfast right there ladies and gentlemen looking forward to that gotta keep that flame going my coffee will brew i'm excited about that i'll tell you what first couple hours of fishing gonna be chilly this morning Ooh. let's see how that looks that looks pretty good to me oh man that's good dark coffee right there Ooh. got this cool little mug going on finally get to use it it's been a hot minute since i've had this kind of cold finishing off the last of our coffee enjoying the last little bit of warmth of this fire before we trek back out onto the river all right let's go no time like the present right here we go ha ah, look at that our stringer is still here not like I couldn't find a thousand other sticks, but you know what? It's kind of like the lucky little stringer. We filled them up good yesterday. May as well stick with them, right? Remember I was telling you guys yesterday, this trail is a little more than an animal trail nowadays. Seems like it's just not this way. A lot of foot traffic around here. So it doesn't get roughed in very well there are probably more animals that use this than humans <sighs> kind of makes it difficult to traverse but that just means uh, that fell uh, means the fishing should be good because people aren't coming down this far Ugh. I feel like I'm blazing a new path here there we go Oh. Don't want to fall there. A little cold in the mountains. I feel like I haven't seen ice in a while. It's an Idaho thing. Don't get a lot of ice in South Carolina, I feel like. I know that sounds weird, but just stuff doesn't ice over, it doesn't get cold enough typically. Okay. This is gonna sound stupid, but doesn't that kind of look like a piece of bread cut in half? Like a slice of bread? I don't know, maybe that's just me. Whew, my eggs are frozen. All right. 
Found this nice little plunge pool right here. I'm gonna toss into this first spot of the day. There it goes. I'm just doing what I did yesterday. No bobber. Just letting it drift around down there. There's a bite. Got him. Way down there. <laughs> first fish of the morning. Little brown. Nailed him. Pretty little fish. Oop, there you go. Huh, feels good to feel that tug first thing this morning. Feels real nice. Oh wow, what do we have here? Oh, here we go. How about this for a waterfall? Oh, that's pretty cool. Look at this. Ain't that a sight right there? That's beautiful. But even more beautiful, it's got some fish at the bottom here. Let's go find out. All this is ice right here. Just a big ice rink. I'm gonna have to like crawl on my hands and knees. There's a bite. Got him. Got him. Hey, getting a little bigger. That's a bow. Nice. Drop that salmon egg back on. Not, not real big. Can't really justify keeping that one. But hey, if he's down there, that means there's got to be some more, right? Right in all this fast stuff, man. Right in all this fast stuff. Just dropping it in. Giving it a bunch of slack, letting it cruise down. There's one. Baby. Baby. They're down there, man. We just gotta get the big one. Beautiful brown. There's one. That's a little bit better. That's a little bit better. Eh, not by much. They're getting there. They're down there. Hanging out at the base of that waterfall. You know what? We're going to throw him back. We're going to throw him back for good karma. That's just, he needs about another half inch on him, I feel like. Another half inch and I would have been like, sure, why not? There's a fish. That might be the one we're after right there. That might be the one we're after. Is that my keeper? Hey, that's a little bit better trout for sure. Nice brown. Hey, come here. Look at that. Hey, yes, that's what I wanted. There's a nice 12 inch brown trout. All right. Yeehaw. Look at that fish. That's beautiful. I knew there would had to be a nice one down there. All right, what do we do here? Um, hmm. Don't have a lot of options here. I need to slide back to my spot. Whew. Okay. Yeah, I literally caught probably two dozen small brown trout right out of that little stretch, and we were still getting hit. But I think it's time to keep pushing forward. Let's see what else is further down. I do have to think about walking back so I can't get too crazy because it's gonna be quite the trek. At this point, it's gonna probably take me 45, 50 minutes just to walk back to camp. So as much as I love exploring all this gorgeous country, I also don't have a whole lot of daylight this time of year to do it, which is quite unfortunate because like this is the best time of year to be exploring, but it's all good. We'll keep going down a little further. Here we go. Look at this spot we just stumbled upon, y'all. There absolutely must be fishing here. Like perfect deep pool. The water's not raging. I know they're gonna be fishing here. Just a matter of are they decent sized fish? That's been the problem we've really had all day. We've caught, I'll bet I've caught probably 30, 40 trout today. I kid you not. But just a lot of finger-sized brown trout. 
They had a few like eight, nine inch bows sprinkled in there as well. There he is, bobber down. Oh, what the, how'd I miss that? Holy moly, dude. That bobber just went straight yeet. I mean, it's kind of hard to tell because it is a bobber. But I mean, that it didn't play around. Like that bobber just went straight down. Come on, let's see if I can get him to come back. I don't think he tasted the hooks. There he is, there he is. Got him. Got him. A better fish? Oh, that's a much better fish. Oh, this is a good trap right here. This is a good trap. Yes. Come on, baby. Kind of wish I had a net. You know? Look at this beautiful trout. Yes. Oh, baby. Magnum. <laughs> Look at that fish. That's what we wanted. Woo. Got him. Ha. Look, that's a 14 inch river bow right there. No. Oh, well, yeah, just stay right there in the mud. Don't know if that was the same fish or not, but that was a good hit. That's a good hit I've had all day. That bobber just went boom, right down. We're gonna go find out if that was the same fish or maybe there are a few more just like that down there. But that is gonna be delicious. Where did I put my fish? Oh yeah, here we go. All right, stringer starting to chase, take shape. That might be the biggest shot of the trip right there. That's a beautiful fish. Beautiful fish. I'm gonna take the cork off. I'm gonna drop those eggs down to the bottom now. Dude, that almost felt like a bite. Like immediately. I have no bait. That was crazy. That is a hit. That's another nice trout. Guys, that was immediate. That looks like another bow. <laughs> that was awesome. That was awesome. I, I took that immediately, just switched it up. Went to the bottom with it. That's a good 13 inch rainbow. Come on, let's get you over here. Hurry. Ugh. There we go. Look at that. Hey, we have found a nice little pool. Another pretty rainbow trout. Dang, yeah, we're definitely keeping that. That's probably 13 inches, but she gut hooked. She sucked that thing down, like right as that hit the water. Slide him right on. Wow, it was a slow start to the day. Really slow. I mean, we went probably an hour and a half without catching anything, but it has started to pick up found the right pools with the right kind of fish and we're putting together a nice little stringer for day two let's come around the bend here see what it looks down down this way oh man i mean get out of here doesn't that just look phenomenal down that way i would really like to keep going but it is like two o'clock in the afternoon and the further we go down it just means the further we got to come back up so i think what we're going to do is we're going to be content with these nice two plump rainbow and that nice uh, brown trout that we caught but be content with the two that we just pulled out of this uh little creek right here this little hole and uh go ahead and start making our way back to camp i'm actually i'm, I'm starving the uh the eggs and bacon started to wear off but i tell you what y'all this is probably some of the prettiest maybe the prettiest country i've ever trout fished even even in idaho an absolutely amazing last 24 hours out here Wow, super blessed to be able to come and do this, that's for sure. Oh, oh, check that out. Went right by some sort of thorny bush or bramble or vine. Just sliced my boot right up. Now I got a bunch of water in there. It pretty much spells the end of these. Gosh, I've had these for like five years, I think. Five or six years. Oh, look at that. Tore a hole right there, too. I guess I'm glad I had the boots on. It wasn't my foot, because that would have been gnarly. Sheep. Jeepers. Hi, right, we're back at camp. Is it warm in here at all? Eh, maybe. It's time to get a fire going. I am starving. I am whew, done hiking in the mountains. I am not in shape for this, that's for sure. 
All right. Going to enjoy the fruits of our labor. I think we're going to do it a little bit differently this evening. I'm going to try and fillet this trout. Bear with me. And yeah, so far, so good. We're down the back. The bigger the fish, the easier it is to fillet. Is typically the rule of thumb when it comes to filleting. Obviously, these trout <clears throat> maybe aren't massive, but you know what? They're adequate. There. All right, one trout fillet. Hmm. Interessante. I mean, I think I did a pretty good job. Can I just cut that out? We'll just cut right through. There we go. Hey! Hey, hey, hey. There you go. I mean, hmm. Interesting. But, you know, we did it. Throw the carcass out there. All right. We have some Zatarain's lemon pepper fish fry, which I already like lemon pepper, you know, on trout. There we go. Now, there you have it. Couple of trout fillets going in our batter. There we go. All right, now we're just gonna wait for this oil to heat up. It shouldn't take long. Keep feeding our fire here, this little stuff. Whoop. Whoop. Grab out a filet, shake it off a bit. Oh, well that looks dandy. Oh yeah, oil's hot enough. Drop some in. Ooh, hot, hot, hot. Take a look at these. Whoa. Well, they're flaky. I'll tell you that. Oh man, look at that! Oh, flip it, Micah. There we go. They look really good. Like the meat is super white, and then you've got this like beautiful golden, golden outside. I mean, it looks really appetizing. I'm thinking this is gonna taste delicious. It's just a little bit longer. And those are going to be done. Look at this. I kid you not, I spent like 30 minutes trying to get a decent flame going just so we could fry up some fish to end the day. And I, I, I couldn't get this going to save my life. And now, now that I don't need it, just a roaring flame. I'm probably going to start a forest fire out here with this kind of flame. That's not funny. Don't, let's, don't start a forest fire. But seriously, I mean, look at that. Come on. Really? Uh, anyway. How about this for our efforts? That doesn't look too shabby to me. Here we go. Ugh, a lot of work went into this guy right here. Cheers. Yeah, that lemon pepper, that's solid. Like you could actually taste like the lemon in that. That's crazy. Yeah, I don't know how far we traveled today, but the amount of effort that went into these trout, it was, it was insane. I'm not going to lie to you. Oh, I tell you what, y'all. This new river that we have discovered, I mean, this was phenomenal. I had a blast. I kind of wish I could stay another couple nights, but we have Christmas time in like four, five, four days. Four days, it'll be Christmas Eve. I guess by the time you guys see this, Christmas will have been over. So I hope you guys had and have a very Merry Christmas. Y'all have a happy new year. Thank you so much for hanging out with me the last couple of days. And as always, I will see you in the next one.